Hello everyone, so today I have a huge box from Artessa, which is an art supply company that were kind enough to send me some of their stuff to try out today, because you know how much I love delicious art supplies. I am not sponsored or anything, but there will be a discount code in the description box below for you guys that will give you a 10% off when you order from their website, so be sure to check that out. So I thought I'm just gonna do like an art supply haul and then do some swatches and some quick demonstration and give my first impression, opinion of the supplies and I hope you will enjoy. So first we have a set of 48 real brush pens and I'm actually quite excited about these since I love brush pens. What I like about these ones so far is that they have real bristle tips. I don't really know why but I do prefer these over the felt tip pens and at least when it comes to making line work and such. And then we have a set of six water brushes, three round ones and three flat ones in different sizes. Unfortunately, the cap on one of the flat brushes was pushed down way too far so that the bristle got all mushed and flat and I couldn't even get the cap off. But luckily, if this happened to you, you can just contact Artessa and they will replace any defective products, so that is really good. And you fill the barrel with water and then you push the push button to get the water out to the bristle tip. Personally, I think that these are a little easier to control the water flow with than the brushes where you push the whole barrel. Then we have a set of 24 oil color tubes. I haven't painted with oil since I went to high school, I think, but I remember I really liked it and I'm looking forward to try them again. It may seem a little silly, but I love the packaging of all these products. It looks so clean and pretty. Then we have a big box of 72 fineliner pens in different colors. They have this really nice triangular shape, which reminds me a little of the Stedler Triplus fineliners, which I love. And they have a 0.4 millimeter nib. Also, I am so, so sorry, but I just have to show you this. I know it will haunt some of you, so please forgive me. Anyways, next is another thing I am really excited about, gouache. For you who don't know, gouache is like opaque watercolors. I have a very cheap gouache set already and these Artessa colors are really inexpensive too, but it will be fun to try out another brand and see what it is like. Then the last thing is a pack of two watercolor paper pads with 32 sheets in each, so you get a lot of paper in one pad only. It is cold pressed and it looks like it has really nice texture. So that are all the supplies, so let's do some quick swatches so I will get an idea of how they work and what they look like before making some art with them. Starting with the brush pens, the colors look really nice and vibrant when just drawing with them. And these brush pens are actually labeled as watercolor pens on Artessa's website, which means that they are water soluble, like watercolor pencils for example. But honestly, I got a little disappointed when adding water to these. They do dissolve really easily, but the colors turned out watery and not very vibrant at all. And some of them even looks a little discolored when they dried and I don't know what's up with that. But they are really, really nice to just draw with. You can get both super fine and super thick lines with the same pen. And I didn't swatch all the colors from the brush pens and the fine liners, mainly because there were so many of them. The fine liners are also water soluble, which is good to know so that you don't use them to outline with before adding watercolors or any other wet medium. 
The gouache paints look very vibrant and smooth and I'm really loving this art medium since you can layer them and make them really opaque compared to watercolors that are more translucent and not very good for layering. I'm using the Artessa watercolor paper here too and I'm really liking the texture through the colors. It did crumble a little though when I rubbed a bit harder with the paintbrush when trying out the brush pens before. And lastly we have the oil paints. I will not use these for painting today since I will need some other art mediums too to clean the brushes with and such since oil paint isn't water soluble. So I will save these for another video if you are interested to see more of those. But I want to see what they look like real quick so I'm using a palette knife that I can just wipe the paint off from. And the paint looks so pigmented and creamy. I especially love the gold and silver ones, so shiny. First I tried out the brush pens and the fine liners and since I'm doing two pieces here today I wanted to work in a smaller format so I'm drawing in my watercolor moleskine, moleskin plus that I also wanted to fill up my sketchbook so two birds one stone I guess. So I am not a huge fan of the watercolor quality of these brush pens and I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here but I can't get them to look very watercolory. They do look a little softer though when adding water to them so that is nice I guess. And I do actually prefer these brush pens just as they are with no water or anything because they are very vibrant and fun to work with and when painting over a color with another color they do blend quite nicely. So even if I will not use these as watercolors I can definitely see myself using these for scribbling in my sketchbook for example like this. And I do believe a thicker paper like watercolor paper or bristol board will work better with these pens since they are water based and you are rubbing them on the paper so you want something that is a bit more durable and sturdy. So yeah, I'm only doing smaller pieces today for my first impression, but if there is any of these products that you would like to see more of, just let me know in the comments below. I know I will probably use some of them a bit more anyway, and I'm really looking forward to try out oil again and to get better with gouache. And I feel like this is a good brand to start with if you want to try out a new art medium. I've been comparing the prices of Artessa's art supplies to other more well-known brands and Artessa is actually quite inexpensive, but even if they are cheaper, they do not feel cheaper if you know what I mean. And so far I'm really liking the quality of these products. Then I use the fine liners to add more details and outlines and I'm really liking the combination of the brush pens and the fine liners. The fine liners are adding more sharpness and crisp and details to the drawing and I really had a lot of fun working on this piece. I like all the different textures and how bright and colorful it turned out. So for the next piece I'm using the gouache and at the end I will use the brush pens again to add finer details. And I like to mention that I am still kind of a beginner with gouache. I have worked with it before but I am still learning, especially with more detailed pieces like this. And I actually had a little trouble with this because I wanted a more solid and opaque layer of grey for the cat's face, but I found it hard to get an even layer. I do believe it may have something to do with the water brushes perhaps. I am not a huge fan of water brushes in general since it feels like they make the paint more watery and diluted and what happens when you add water to a layer of gouache is that it lifts the paint up and make it look thinner and uneven which can add to a really nice texture but it isn't what I wanted in this case. And I also think the brushes felt a little wonky to work with. I mostly used the finest round one and the bristles are so long and flimsy so I felt I had less control with this than with the regular brushes that I normally use. So I think the water brushes, at least the round small one, may be my least favorite thing of all supplies that I tried today. And I'm not saying that they are bad or anything, it is more of a personal preference I guess. 
but I still like the gouache and the vibrancy of the colors and that they blended so nicely. I laid down a more opaque layer of paint on the cat itself and for the background I watered the paint down to make it look more translucent and I really like that you can get both these effects with the same art medium. With watercolors you have to work from lighter to darker colors and once you painted an area dark it is really hard to go back to light again. But here you can actually paint with a lighter color on top of a darker one. And this is an art medium I really want to learn and to get better with, so you will probably see more gouache paintings from me in the future. And I wanted to see how well the brush pens worked on top of the gouache, so I used them to add all the little details with. And I really loved the outcome, it was a nice and easy way of adding outlines to a watercolor piece. I often outline my art with brush pens, but sometimes bold black lines is not always the effect I'm looking for. So then having brush pens in a bunch of different colors I think will come in very handy. I love how these two pieces turned out and the different effects you can get with different art mediums. I am so excited to get to know these new art supplies even more and to fill up my sketchbook with colorful doodles. If you want to check out Artessa and their art supplies by yourself, I can really recommend them. And don't forget to use the discount code in the description box below to get 10% off on your order. Thanks Artessa for sending me all these supplies to play with and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!